Welcome to the unit Dyeing Process for Natural Fibers. In this unit, you will gain an understanding of the dyeing process for cellulosic and protein fibers. This unit comprises of two modules and a final review section that invites you to reflect on what you have learnt. By end of this unit, students will be able to describe the dyeing process for cellulosic fibers using various dyes. Describe the dyeing process for protein fibers using different kinds of dyes. The dyeing process for cellulosic fibers using various dyes. Application of direct dyes. Direct dyes are dyed using exhaust dyeing method. Methods of printing. By the end of this unit, students will be able to describe the process of block printing, hand screen printing, automatic flatbed screen printing, automatic rotary screen printing and heat transfer printing. This unit methods of printing focuses on the different techniques of printing and comprises of six units. Let us begin with block printing. It is the oldest and simplest method of printing. The designs to be printed are first engraved on wooden blocks. Color in the form of thickened paste is applied to the raised parts of the blocks and an impression of design is obtained by stamping the block by hand with wooden hammer on the cloth. Each shade of the color requires separate block. What are the design possibilities? Designs in any number of colors and any scale can be reproduced. Block prints possess richness, fullness and purity of color. There is no limiting factor in respect of size of the repeat. The prints produced by this method are of great decorative value. Disadvantages of block printing. The main disadvantages are the method is slow and production cost is high. It is not possible to obtain fine sharp outlines. Repeat marks are visible due to separate impression of the block. Large repeat size is not possible since it is a manual method it is quite laborious. Hand screen printing. The screen is made up of tightly stretched nylon gauzy. The design is transformed on the screen with photo emulsion. The screen is placed above the cloth and printed with rubber skewsies manually. After printing each color, the print is dried by bottom steam pipes or hot air blower. After printing, the fabric is dried well and rolled on a cylindrical shaft. Advantages of hand screen printing. It is best suited for economical printing of smaller lots. The equipment is simple, easy to install and requires less maintenance. It is also inexpensive. Damages can be easily controlled. Unlimited colors can be printed. Maximum possible repeat size is possible. Cut garment prints is possible. It is adaptable for both woven and knitted fabrics. Disadvantages of hand screen printing. Off-tone designs, fine line paisley prints and lengthwise striped designs are not possible. The production is low and it is time consuming process. It has low productivity, scope for lot to lot variation. It is uneconomical for large production yardage. Automatic flatbed screen printing. The fully automatic flatbed screen printing machine consists of three units. Fabric feeding unit, printing unit and drying unit with plater. In the fabric feeding unit, the cloth from the batch roll is taken through guide rolls, tension bars and fabric guider and is pressed to the blanket by means of feed roll. The printing unit consists of an endless synthetic rubber blanket which supports the fabric during printing and returns to feed position after washing. Printing station, according to the capacity of the machine, 8 to 16 printing stations are available. 
Before the start of printing, the screens are positioned according to the repeat and order of printing. The cloth is fed and printing stations are switched on. Printing is done sequentially at various printing units and then leaves to the dryer unit. There, there it gets dried and is finally plated on trolleys. Important features of automatic flatbed screen printing. Here large repeat size up to 60 inches are possible. Overall and cross border designs can be printed. Better color definition than roller prints and equal to hand screen printing. It is adaptable to woven as well as knitted fabrics. Rapid changeover of design is possible. It has best machine registration so the clarity of prints looking very good. Limitations. However, this system has certain limitations. The cost of screen printing and special mounting is more costlier than hand screen printing process. It is not adaptable to low yardage. Off-tone designs, fine line paisley prints and lengthwise stripes are not possible. Next we will discuss about automatic rotary screen printing. Working principle. The respective screens are mounted on the rotary heads. Selected skewsies are inserted and connected to the respective color pumps. The fabric to be printed is fed to the blanket and gets printed by the respective screens continuously. The printed fabric is conveyed through the dryer and plated. It is possible to print at speeds up to 80 meters per minute. Important features. Printing is continuous. Up to 40 inch repeat size are possible and it is larger than roller printing but smaller than flatbed screen printing. Lengthwise stripe effect is possible. Fall on design is possible. It is adaptable to both woven and knitted fabrics. It provides cleaner and brighter colors than roller print. It has excellent color definitions but less than flatbed screen printing. Rapid changeover of design is possible. It is efficient for longer runs and moderately small quantities like 1000 yards. Limitations Cross border designs and fine line paisley prints are not possible. Off tone designs are not as effective as in roller printing. It is uneconomical for short runs. Color penetration is difficult for thicker fabrics. Color consumption and wastage is higher. Design repeat size is smaller than flatbed screen printing. Next we will discuss about heat transfer printing. Working principle. In this method, the vapor phase transfer takes place by heating under pressure at 180 to 200 degrees centigrade for 20 seconds. The dye sublimes under heat from the paper and is absorbed by thermoplastic substrates. The coloring matter and the thermoplastic binders are transferred to the fabric under heat and pressure. After the release of the film, the paper is removed when the design is completely transferred to the fabric. Important features. It produces bright, sharp, clear and fine line designs. It has the ability to print cut garment parts and small items. It is adaptable to long and short yardage runs. Rapid pattern changeover is possible. Simple, low investment installation, steamers, washers, dryers, etc. are not required. It has the fewest seconds for all printing process. Heat setting is also accomplished. Limitations. The lead time for paper preparation for heat transfer printing can cause problems in high fashion markets. The fiber content in fabric should be minimum 50% synthetic fiber. Cellulose and protein fiber cannot be printed. Overprint only on pastel colors, otherwise it will not completely cover the original color. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit you have learned the techniques of block printing, hand screen printing, 
automatic flatbed screen printing, automatic rotary screen printing and heat transfer printing. Thank you.